you enjoyed your time with your family and your friends. Even if you weren't with anyone today and just having some quiet time at home, I do hope that it was peaceful and relaxing for you guys. So again, happy Easter to everyone. Uh, today is the day that the Lord has risen. It is a beautiful day. Um, and we're not doing a shopping haul today. Um, however, I do have a couple of uh, items um, that I've decorated with from one of our shopping halls. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about those. Uh, we're going to do uh, Easter walkthrough. I'll be uploading that video a little bit later on um, this evening. Uh, however, um, just wanted to bring something quick to you guys. My little buddy didn't mind me sharing um, his Easter bag this year. We didn't do basket because he is 12. He turned 12 on the 21st of March. Um, so I did explain to him since he's 12 now, 13, he's going to be, uh, you know, he's preteen. He'll be a teenager next year. So this will be his official last basket, per se. Even though, you know, mom, sh don't tell anybody. But mom is still going to probably make him a little basket. But, you know, just won't be candy filled. It'll be more geared to, um, you know, uh, something for a teenage, things that he needs, maybe school supplies, just little things, just a, a little cute little basket. Um, I do want him to start uh, getting away from the the candy and the, oh, I get, get, get on these holidays. I want you, him to know the, you know, true meaning behind these holidays, you know, and what they're um to be celebrated for not just getting all candy and baskets and gifts and you know etc so um have to let the kids enjoy and then you also have to teach them as well so yeah anywho um so i decided to share a little bit of my life with you guys um i am a mom that deals with a child that has special needs um <clears throat> and it's been a, a really tough yet fun journey uh, i've learned so much um uh, and, and it really inspires me. Um, I've learned uh, a lot of patience, um, a lot of different techniques and tools. I um, also want to say thank you guys for subscribing and being a part of this family. Um, I am at a little bit uh, over 500 um, subscribers. And it doesn't sound like it's a lot, but when you're an up-and-coming uh, content creator like myself, uh, 500 is a big number is, you know, it's really, really hard. You have to work really, really hard to get to those numbers. And we have people that view our videos. I have millions of views, um, a day sometimes, you know, uh, <clears throat> a couple thousand of views some days and, uh, and you may only get six subscribers or, you know, and, you know, some people get really lucky. You get that one good video and it go viral. Uh, you know, you can gain a lot of subscribers and, you know, become insta famous overnight. That's not my thing. I really enjoy what I do, uh, as far as the shopping hauls, I love shopping. So it to be able to turn it to something fun, um, doing the hauls and the uh, shop with me is with you guys. Uh, it really gives me a, a relaxing outlet. That's kind of like my mom time, my thing. And I like to share that thing, uh, those things with you guys. I am a budget mom. I like to shop on a budget, but I do love quality things. Um, I have a really um, great eye for quality and quality doesn't always mean it has to be extremely expensive uh, it can be at a fair price and still look good um, and be put together good uh, a few of the things that you can probably see here in my background um, are some of the uh, items that I did buy on some of the Easter shop with me so if you guys go and check out some of those videos um, you'll be able to see some of these items in those videos uh, if, if you're new here watching please like uh, hit the thumbs up button and like, you know, share this video with someone you think uh, may be able to um, uh, get some benefit from this video um, uh, because it does help us grow. Subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, so it definitely helps with our algorithm um, and helping people find us on the channel uh, and different things like that. So we love to have you as a part of a family. Um, I'm going to be incorporating a lot of different things in the channel. I love to decorate. I love shopping for new items to uh, decorate with. Um, so it's a niche of my, I love to DIY. So I'll be doing some DIY projects on this channel for you guys. Um, you know, bring in some new creative ways to decorate. I have a big project I'm working on right now, so I'm going to be incorporating that soon. Um, have you guys come along with me with that, and it's going to be really, really exciting and interesting. Um, uh, so, yeah, um, 
A couple of these items I have here in the background. Oh, and quick before I get into that, what we're going to talk about today, guys, because um, she's like, okay, what is she talking about in this video? Uh, what we're going to talk about today, guys, is my son's Easter bag. So it's not a basket, it's Easter bag. So it is a cool, reusable bag. Um, it, it's the Eternals, so you guys know the kids like these, you know, the Eternals. Um, you got your dog fans, too. But, so, yeah. So, it's a really cool bag. He can reuse it. Uh, he likes to carry his computers and things around in his book bags and his reusable bags. So, it's really cool. Uh, red is one of his favorite colors. So, I thought that was really cool. I did get it at Dollar Tree for $1.25. It is really durable. I like that part about it. Um, and then it's canvas as well. So, that was pretty cool. Um, and then it was able to fit the items in there. So, um... I'm, I'm sharing this with you guys because uh, with him being high, higher functioning autistic and then he does have some slight Tourette's, um, uh, I have to, you know, get things that are soothing for him. He uh, is more sensory uh, uh, for, so, you know, I have, he has to have a lot of sensory items uh, for calming. You know, sometimes he can have meltdowns, so his sensory items will help him. Um, you know, calm down, you know, regain focus, um, and so on and so forth. And I'll go into a couple of those things. Um, if you guys, uh, I'm sure out of 500 of my subscribers, if there's a few moms on there that can probably relate to what I'm talking about right now. So give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you ladies. Um, uh, because yeah, it is a village and you know resources etc etc we can always help each other out um, talk about different things um, we're going to incorporate some of these things into this channel and if I see that it's starting to grow a little bit or that there's an interest um, in some of these techniques that I share with you guys um, and we can you know grow a family then I'll um, consider uh, directing it to a different channel uh, separated from the shopping blog so um but right now we're just going to incorporate little things here and there because most of the time my little buddy is um on the shopping mission with me um you guys know if you do have any true special needs like i'm really finicky about uh, who to leave my child with everybody doesn't have patience for um you know children with special needs and you just you have to be careful you know who you leave your child um you know who hands you leave your child in you know you want to make sure they have the best care you don't have to worry too much even though i'm a mom that worries anyway it's just what i do i'm a mom so yeah um wanted to share some of the things i made his easter basket with because i didn't just make um the easter basket filled with candy and just you know toys it was really um a sensory based bag that's really going to help him while he's in school uh because he's also able to take some of his sensory um toys to uh school where i'm not going to say toys since he's 12 but sensory fidgets and items to school to help him um he has a, a variety of different things he does like to do uh which helps him calm and just kind of regain focus and relax so i'll talk about a couple of those things but before i get into that um here in the backdrop it's a couple of the items i did from a couple of our dollar tree and do uh, dollar tree hauls i'm gonna say because i don't have anything up from the other stores um yeah, so these, oh yeah, Dollar Tree and uh, Family, uh, no, I'm sorry, Dollar General, I'm sorry. So, fam, Dollar Tree and Dollar General. So, these, this cutie here is from Dollar General. It was $1, um, super cute. I love the twine here. Uh, it has Happy Easter sign. It has the cute little bunny tail. So, super, super cute. As you can see how thick that is. Really quality uh, wood for a buck. You can't beat it. That was a really great, um, a really uh, good deal. Uh, to be able to catch that at Dollar General. Uh, and then this cutie patootie came from Dollar General as well, and it was a dollar with the really cute gingham and that bunny tail here. This cute little tree I got at Michael's. I believe it was like $19, but I got it on sale at like 40% off or something like that. So Michael's had this cutie patootie here uh, with uh, the little frost on there. I really like that. I like how it had like, kind of gives you that, uh, look of the bundle of hay uh, with this here. I just really liked it that that um, corn bushel look. So yeah, I love that. That's super cute. So that was from Michaels. And then here, this uh, cute little uh, cutting board. <clears throat> I love this because it looks like a cutting board, but um, it says Cottontail, Cottontail and Company Egg Farm. 
Hippity Hoppity Lane, One Mile Ahead, Egg Hunts Daily. Super cute. It is so quality looking in person. I mean, it looks probably way more quality in person than it does. Uh, it's super farmhouse. It's really rich in colors. It was at Dollar Tree for $125. I like how they incorporate the cute little silver um, buttons here. Really made it look more high class. Uh, it has that faux wood look. Super, super cute. Love it. It was a great deal. I'm so glad I bought that and was able to catch one. So if you guys catch some of these now um, after Easter now, pick them up and use those for next year. Great items like that. You have to get them while they're around because once they're gone, sometimes they don't come back. So, you know, certain things you have to get them while you can. All right. And then um, here, this cute little uh, Easter egg runner. I got that at uh, Dollar Tree as well for $1.25. It was super, super cute. They had two different colors. Um, we did pick up the other one, but it has the laser cut out Easter egg uh, patterns on there. Super cute. Loved it. Um, so, yeah. And then this cute little sign here. That also came from Dollar Tree Easter Egg Farms. Really quality looking um, in person. It is definitely uh, given Hobby Lobby uh, quality and look if you see it in person. So if you can uh, check that one out too at your local Dollar Tree. If they have some left, uh, that would be a great score. Um, super, super cute. Uh, super vintage looking. This one and that one. They, they both give you that vintage looking. Yet it's moderate. Uh, just super cute. So, dollar twenty five. You can't beat it. Um, and then this cutie patootie here. Uh, I got. I scored a few weeks ago at Dollar Tree as well. As soon as they put those out, um, I was watching another channel, and I'm not sure whose it was. It might have been. Um, it might have been Crystal because she she always does really awesome blogs, and um, and I watch her all the time, and get, you know. Uh, tips and techniques from her um so yeah uh her, what is crystal the queen uh it's called the queen so you guys go over there and look at her blogs you know follow her um i i don't discriminate you know if someone does something awesome i'll shout them out i'm not like some of these youtubers out here i'm saying things like oh no free promo no this no that no i'm um, you know if somebody's great if i can get a technique or two from them if they do something i like hey i'm shouting it out um why not? So, anywho, super cute for $1.25, guys. Um, tabletop decor. I like the little bunny tails. says Eastern the pastel colors. They did have one in the darker colors. I got that one as well for something else. Um, but this was a really good piece for $1.25, and you can put this away for the next year or so. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm, I love to decorate, and it looks really, really cute, and it's still on a budget. This was less than... Um, if you go outside of the Michaels bottle brush tree, everything was less than ten dollars. I mean, so and it's just a cute little setup in in the corner of your kitchen, and it can just you know give you a really great feel for the holidays. Change them off for the holidays is not too much, you know. Um, sometimes a little is just enough, you know. Um, some people like a lot of decorating, and I have a whole lot more, so I'm really into the decorating. Um, but if you're not, like I said, just that little bit can spruce up your life, your your everyday feel uh, within your home, make it more homey. So that's what this channel is about, just learning how to incorporate things in big and small spaces. I live in a condo, so therefore, um, I don't have a lot of space, but I make the best of my space, and, and, and it's great. I'm grateful for it. So, yeah. All right, so getting back to the bag. So I said we we're going to make this quick, and now it's going into 13 minutes. Um, I, I did get this cute sensory toy here. This was $5 at Dollar Tree's new dollars uh, section, uh, $5 section. So I did do a video on that because we've only had ours about two and a half weeks now. Um, so we just got the uh, $5 sections, um, which is called the Dollar Tree Plus section when you walk in your Dollar Tree. So uh, in the next month or so, you know, guys, be checking your Dollar Trees out and looking for that aisle because there you have some really, really awesome items. And for the value, I mean, you can't beat it. Um, yeah, so this is a really cute sensory toy. Um and, you know, it, it has the water, you know, it kind of goes and you can do different little things with it. Super, super cute, uh, cool, um, a perfect sensory toy uh, for my for my kid. He loves the knick-knack, knick, uh, um, gadget gadgets like this. Um, and it's just super cool. So it's something enriching for their mind, their sensory. They'll, it, it, I, it's hard to explain, but just something 
um, just as small as this is so enriching and, and relaxing to a child with special needs, you know, especially a child that has sensory uh, processing disorder, um, you know, or, you know, uh, attention deficit disorder or attention deficit attention deficit hyper disorder um which is a one is adhd and one is add so it's a total difference um uh, so you know it's something different to fit, fit every child's needs so me um i find those different things that he likes in what area i know it helps him calm and i'll try to get something for every little thing so i don't just stick to one thing and it's trial and error we got to figure out uh, what works for your kids because like sometimes I have to stay away from things that can even fit in the mouth because even at 12 he likes to chew on a lot of hard things and that's not good for his teeth for one um, it's dangerous for two because he can choke so myself from myself to even his therapists are always fussing you can't chew on it buddy it's dangerous you know if you have a tick sometimes like with this tick he has uncontrollable body movements um uh, you know, you can choke on it. So, you know, those are things we're constantly still working on. It's a lot of um, uh, redirecting and a lot of repeating. And it's like you're teaching and constantly teaching uh, with the child that has, um, you know, autism, you know, and, you know, attention deficit disorder, um, hyper disorder. He has a lot of freaking energy. Um, but, you know, he's on the higher function side and he's super duper smart. These are some of the smartest kids ever. Um, so I tell, you know, any parent I know, it can be very frustrating. But if you can just, uh, you know, find that calm for yourself uh, to be able to uh, find the calm to work with your children, it's going to be the best thing ever because you'll bring out something in these children you, you would have never wanted to know. I mean, like my kid likes to put, he's a great dancer. Um, we're just starting experimenting with that. Um, he's starting to like to draw now. So I'm going to, um, that's the one thing I started with him. Um, I bought a few of these coloring books here. Um, so how this fits into sensory, and I'm, these came from Dollar Tree. So just to go to show how Dollar Tree, a lot of people sleep on Dollar Tree. They owe Dollar Tree. It's not that great. I'm not going in there. Well, uh, let me tell you, Dollar Tree has some amazing items that you can uh, uh, catch. Uh, so when you catch them, you better grab them uh, because they do go fast. Uh, they work with a lot of companies, uh, you know, that's starting to dump off brands in there. And, and you know, like I said, they're one and done. So you got to get them while they're in there and, and get them fast. Um, this is an amazing book here. It's called Kid Back in Color by Numbers, Animals to Music. So it just has a good variety of different animals and things like that. Uh, we love nature. Um, we did just do a blog. We went to the zoo for the Easter egg hunt uh, on Saturday. And... And we filmed a lot of different animals and things like that, but we like that kind of stuff. So um, just to get the sea turtles and different things like that is really interesting. By numbers, if you guys can see that, they have the color. It tells them what numbers to color, or they can pick their own color. If you want all uh, eight pink, all threes, you know, blue, that's totally up to you um, if you don't want to follow their layout. As long as you follow the same number for the same colors, then it's going to create a beautiful masterpiece. And it gives your child the um, room to be creative. Um, I, again, like I said, uh, be able to pick their choice of how to do something and follow a pattern, which is hard for kids um, with attention deficit disorder because it's hard for them to stick to doing something for long periods of time. Um, so this is something really good to go with. And then, you know, it's, it's awesome too, because you can join in and work with your kid while doing it. That makes a big, big difference. Um, um, with dealing with these children. I know sometimes we can, uh, be frustrated or have so much on our plate within a day. Um, like with me from running from school, I'm, you know, I go to work and then when I'm uh, in between work, I'm running to a store and I'm filming, you know, trying to do the shop with me. And then I'm picking him up sometimes from school, a couple of days out the week. Cause we're running at least three days out the week. I'm um, going to schools, you know, picking up from school and going to therapies uh, right after work. So it's like, I'll go to work some days get off i'll go film really quick make sure i'm at school on time pick them up sometimes i have to pick them up early from school and then we'll go from uh, school straight to a therapy and on, on one of the days we have to go from therapy to tutoring so like we're constantly going and sometimes as parents we need that five minute break because then you're coming home i have to cook dinner you know he's in shower you know ready for the next day like we're going 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 moving moving move, and you just need that five minutes <sighs> break okay we need that break let me tell you um 
but just that just give them if you can't give me anything but five minutes I'm, I'm saying all that to say and you can join in with them and you know just do a little bit that makes such a big difference to those kids you wouldn't even believe um and, and 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 the relationship that you can build with your children so this is a really great book he's going to enjoy this this is another one it tells what number what color and it's going to create a beautiful masterpiece but that also uh gets them into coordination so if they're getting into sketching and drawing these are perfect little books to get for your children um to start working with that so that they can learn how to you know uh create and and, and blend and do different things with the colors and like i said coordination is the main thing with this um and coordination can be really tough for some kids uh, with autism, you know, even, I mean, when it comes to just brushing teeth or tying shoes, like, my kid had to be at home and in occupational therapy working on all those things. Like, we all worked on so many different things throughout the years. So, it's different steps as they, you know, from from younger to older as they progress. Uh, so, coordination, everything is all built into this in one, you know, focus, uh, you know. Uh, being organized so these are really really good books for those uh, types of children okay so I know he's going to enjoy that and this is another one that's kind of like that this one is called distress unwind relax um uh wild animals which is another great one and this is crown jewels it says and this is a woman-owned company I, I knew it was something else about that um because I was reading that when I was in the store. This is a woman-owned company, so that is awesome. Thumbs up to the women who owns this uh, company. I'm going to try to look that up so maybe I can tag them in it. Um, just give them a thumbs up. That's, that's really cool. So this says Crown Jewels LLC. Um, 16 unique designs to help you relax and unwind. So this should be something really good and soothing for him. And it's the same kind of concept. Um, I like how it's on the back. Uh, you can he can go ahead and trace here and retrace the entire thing all over again um, um and which is really cool because that gives them ways of how to learn how to stitch and you know sketch and draw and things too and then he can go back in and do some other fun and neat things so that's really uh cool i'm sorry i didn't think you guys get that in there but you can kind of sketch those so it's really really neat um yeah and then you just have some regular ones without um, numbers so that they can just kind of go in and do their own thing which is really cool and it's a variety of pictures so it's really really advanced yet it's still you know for the kid that still has some of that uh child in them um because you know dealing with autistic kids and kids with threats and stuff and things sometimes they can be a little more advanced sometimes they can be advanced but then they can have those parts where you know they can be like their three-year-old you know and so that's just the reality of it and so it gives you everything from the from the older kid to back to the this is still cute for the six-year-old and it still can give them the same lessons and um calming techniques so look at the froggy how cute is that on the lily pad so cute so yeah all right yeah okay and then so here this is a crayola book again a nice name brand from dollar tree um and this this is the hand lettering creative art pad wait so i i had this guys cray ala graph graphy Crayola graphy. That's what it is. Crayola graphy. Got it. <laughs> you ain't gonna get me. Can't stump me. Crayola graphy. So boom. Um, and this is a really cool book. Create and share colorful crayons gallery. So they have some uh, empty pages in here, which is really, really cool to let your kid just really kind of be creative, do their own thing. See, sometimes, um, uh, we, my kid does like a, uh, it's called a feelings exercise, um, something that he's learned from his therapist. And then, you know, we still kind of incorporate it on the day, but you know, see how, how you feeling today. You know, you could be feeling, you know, blue or green or red. I mean, you know, you kind of upset, you're sad, you know, you kind of go with the color. And, and, and so anywho, when they're having a really rough day or a really great day, let them, you know, pull out this and pull, you know, and say, Hey, pull out your Crayola graphy book and, you know, however you're feeling today, draw a picture. You know, they can go to one of the blank pages and draw a picture, or they can just pull it out and do what they like on a regular day. Uh, so, it gives a lot of room. They have some really cool um, pages in here to be creative with. Another reason I uh, 
liked this book when I went through them. And I was probably in the store about an hour, guys, because I probably spent like 20 minutes really looking through these books. So I want to find the perfect books I know that will work for him and what he's trying to do because he's really trying to get off into drawing and things like that. And I like to support a lot of things he likes to do when he's doing the right thing. Um, so this book here uh, has, uh, it's like the old school uh, writing books that I used to get where uh, they have the, the lines here to teach the kids to stay inside the lines, um, making sure you're doing the correct strokes for your um, uh, letters and things like that. Uh, so this is a really great uh, book to help them with their strokes and staying neat with their writing because sometimes these kids handwriting can be like doctor handwriting and child. I can't do it. So, you know, that that's another thing. And like I said, even at 12, this is something that's, you know, a part of their disability. So, you know, it, it, it takes a while to really get them, you know, where they need to be with certain things like that. So even at 12, he, I mean, he's in the sixth grade, getting ready to go to seventh grade. And he's one of the top readers in his class, things like that. But I still have to work with him on handwriting because sometimes it can be a little rough. And I know that he can do better because I've seen him take his time and do better. So that lets me know, okay, something is off somewhere. Let's work on it. Um, and it's just things to keep them because, you know, these kids have sensory processing disorder. Um, sometimes... They can forget things, you know, especially if they're not constantly working on something or doing something. But then it's certain things they'll remember like you wouldn't even believe, okay? Won't leave out of detail. So, you know, these kids are something really, really special. Um, but, you know, you want to keep things fresh to them. So even with, like, you know, uh, math and different things like that, I keep them fresh. I keep little books, you know, for multiplication and things around here. And uh, we'll go at her. So that's just what I do um, to make sure he's well prepared. Yeah, so super cool. So he can work on some of those, his strokes and different things. Um, and it's, I like that the strokes are like cursive, which is awesome because these kids aren't learning cursive anymore in schools. Like we learn cursive. They've taken a lot of stuff out of curriculum until they're getting, you know, way older. And it's insane to me um, the stuff they've been doing with these schools. But that's neither here nor there. We won't even go there. Um, but so that's a good way of having them do it at home and they're learning how to do cursive and then they'll be able to learn to sign their name uh, in cursive writing because you can't just print your name. You got to have your own signature. It's your signature. So um, it's just it's just a great book. I love it. Perfect uh, for boys and girls uh, and for your creative artists. So three great books at dollar twenty five a piece. Um, yeah, that's three dollars and seventy five cent, and I'm still doing great. I mean, awesome items, great brand items. Uh, you're gonna get them at any other store probably for four bucks, five bucks, and I'm not even sure with this this one from this women's own company because these are some really great books. Um, at, at, at a typical art store, Michaels probably would sell this book probably good for eight, nine bucks, ten bucks, and I'm that's on a low scale for me. Just, you know, kind of throwing it out there because it could be way more. This was really cute. Dollar Tree as well. Um, this is a sketch pad, three-in-one activity pad. Um, again, he was saying he's been asking for different stuff. He wants to learn how to draw. He wants to draw everywhere. Mom, you have paper. So this is perfect because um, you can not only sketch on. They have different color uh, construction seats in there, which is really cool. So he can kind of, you know, do his drawings um uh, personalized to his colors or how he's feeling um, to that day, which is really good if he's feeling red, green. So I thought that was great to incorporate that. It also come with these little um, scribble papers is what they call them. I call them trace papers because he can put something else in here um, that he likes and he can most definitely um, I'll just use this as an example. He can most definitely go in and trace something totally different and have this way and then, you know, do something fun if you guys can see that. How cool is that? Um, I hope you guys can see that. But he can go ahead and trace that and just do something really cool. Um, so that was a plus to have that in there. Um, also, again, it's just for them to doodle on if they just want to doodle. So he'll love this. Um, they did have this in a really large one. So, like, for our, our architects and our um you know, sketch artists out there, uh, you guys can definitely, if you're paying all that money at those other stores, and this is something similar to what you guys use, they definitely have the really big one, um, almost the size of, like, desk calendars, and then they have, like, a mid-size one as well, so, um, something for you guys as well, and on a, a great budget, they're really starting to get into the crafting, um, section, um, getting some really great items in there, and, uh, for the artists, uh, so definitely don't sleep on Dollar Tree, guys. 
And I'm saying for the professional sketchers and artists and things like that in the up and coming. Um, again, it's construction paper and then it has the scribbles uh, trace paper in there. So he's going to love that as well. Um, wild Cracks, you know the kids like Wild Cracks. Um, this is really cool because it has two different pictures here. And it comes with three different scenes, but it's just showing two. And um, it's really nice. It has all these different stickers. So what the kid can do is just take their imagination and put what they want to each scene and just kind of create what's going on in their mind or, you know, how they're feeling, which is really, really nice. You know, their own creation just gives them room to just be creative. And so that's something I know he would like. And he does a lot of things with stickers everywhere. So um, a really, really great uh, sensory um, setup already for him. And then it's at the same time, he's learning. So he's learning and, you know, he's not really seeing it that way, but it really, you know, I'm sure he's just seeing it as fun and coloring and sketching something he wants to do, but he's really learning. Um, so it's going to be something beneficial for him. Um, this is something that can be turned into a career. So this is what I mean when I say embrace the things that your kids are seeing they want to do or like to do, because you never know what you could be put, pulling out of that child. This could be a, um, uh, architect right here that's coming out of this him wanting to learn how to draw and sketch and put some around you know he could be some type of an engineer and they have to draw and trace and do all that you know he always speaks about going to all these you know different places and he wants to live in this big huge house and things like that like the kid is just has an imagination out of this world um and he can definitely have that type of life so you know i you know whatever he wants to do i try to bring these things out again um because it not only helps calm and soothe him keeps him focused um you know to what work on that piece um keeps down the tantrums or calm him from a tantrum different things like that um i'm, I'm for it so puzzles he likes puzzles i got two puzzles it's something that i can work on with him and excuse my um my head uh, guys i didn't mean to get in that uh, shot but we're gonna leave it natural today i'm not gonna even edit it out um you got the natural me you can always see me dialed up all right so um really cute uh puzzle he likes he used to like arthur um and i like this one because it was like the more uh grown-up kids uh in middle school kind of deal with their books carrying their books and stuff um so that was really cool for him um to build a puzzle and that's something again i can do with him as well so it makes it fun um, and it's just something for them to really use their brain, really think hard. They have to focus. So something to try to keep their focus, you know, that's another good thing to work with them with again. Um, so if they get off task or off focus, you can kind of redirect them. Hey, buddy, you know, come back. You know, what happened? We're going to finish the puzzle. Where's the piece that go here? Just to kind of bring their focus back if they start drifting somewhere else. This is really a good tool at home to do things like this because then that transfers into school. All right, so just a quick tip, and I'm not going to get into that because, like I said, if you guys like these videos or would like me to make more videos like this so we can just have different platform forms, things to talk about, and tips um, that are um, really foolproof um, with our uh, children, then uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Make a comment. Um, down below and we'll go from there all right uh this was the berestein bears i loved love love this uh, the berestein bears were around when i was a kid i read all of the books they did not have the books i was looking for the books they did however have the little cute uh plush animals um berestein bears i didn't get those because he obviously isn't at 12 he's not going to really want to play with them but um some kids do like the uh plush uh animals and things like that even at his age you know when they have uh, certain disorders so definitely don't stray away from getting them if they do but that was a cute um set to put together if they do like the animals or if it's for a younger kid put those cute bear skin bears with them um i was really excited about this because i used to love the bear skin bears but that's another puzzle um super super cool so you know he can work on and uh put together um so yeah this was a really cool deal for five dollars uh, dollar tree all right, and so these were at Dollar Tree as well. Um, so the eight piece of marker, I really, really like these uh, because they have the uh, the larger marker tip at the, uh, they're double sided. So they have the larger marker tip uh, at the top just for like coloring in and shading in. Um, on this side, they have the really skinny tip. Uh, so that's perfect for drawing and sketching and just etching. Um, so you have the best of both worlds with this marker. I love that idea. So that's why I got those. Those are perfect for him to do his sketching and drawing and coloring with. Especially um, having that really uh, fine tip side right here uh, to kind of get into some of these smaller areas. That's perfect. 
So um, that was a really good deal. I was excited about uh, finding those. And I'm going to tell you another thing, guys. I go to a lot of different Dollar Trees to film. Um, so uh, I don't find everything at one store. I have to pick things up, uh, you know, at different places. So sometimes it does pay to go to a different store that may not be close by you that may have, you know, it may be a bigger store, have some, you know, much better items. Because sometimes stores have what other stores don't have because they sell out faster than other stores. So some of the other stores actually might be a little behind. I've noticed that. So, definitely check around. This is a really cool item. A cute fidget item. This is from Dollar Tree as well. Um, he loves all kind of things that stretch, thin, fidgety, pull on, twirl. I bought some things similar to these for Christmas. Some sensory items. They were called like ramen noodles or something. He likes that kind of stuff. So, um, really, really cool. It's fun. You can both, you know, do really cool stuff. You know, they can, it's just it's sensory. Sensory. Something cool. It's just the different bumps, feels, touch. It's all of that for these kids. It's something different. This one item could be something soothing. And it's one thing out of just this one item could be soothing for like 10 different kids. It could be just the hair pulling that part or the way it feels, how this texture feels with the bumps. You know, the smoothness, um, just how, just the stretching of it, just doing this, you know, how that feels, all of the above. Um, this one item makes a big, big difference for those kids. When we say sensory items, definitely sensory, and it touches on a, di a couple of different areas. Very soothing, and it's very fun, and it's something they can do, you know, right at their desk at school, you know, whatever it need be. So, that was pretty cool. This was another item, again, from Dollar Tree. It's squishy. Um, got stuff to pull on it. You can pull it, stretch it. Love different items like this. Um, these are really, really awesome um, for a sensory, you know, a kid that's into, you know, different sensory toys and items. So that's another one. Um, he loves um, building with Legos. I didn't get anything Lego because he got tons of Legos and stuff for Christmas. Um, he loves Legos. He loves building and constructing Legos like any kind. He's built huge $300 Harry Potter Legos that he's got for Christmas um, and torn torn them down and like totally rebuilt something else that had nothing to even do with what was going on with that box of Legos. So again, that's a construction thing. So him building those Legos could have him in the field of construction. These are all trades. Good jobs to have, you know. So, it, you know, it helps these kids for a future as well. It's getting them interested in something. So any little thing they like to do, make sure you get something. I don't care if it's a dollar twenty-five item. It don't have to be a $500 something that go and do something and whatever, whatever. Something as simple as what I'm doing, $1.25, you can find something that's a niche for your kid and that can help your child um, to grow. These He loves slime. Um, these uh, are called Dino Slime uh, slime Fossils, and these were at Dollar Tree as well. Really thick. And my, I mean, this is really thick. I can barely, if you guys see, can move through there. Really thick, um, heavy-duty slime. There is a Dino dinosaur fossil in here i felt around he's taught me this this is one of his tricks guys because you know the, a lot of these uh kid toys now they have these so-called mystery packs so you never know what you're gonna get in here and that's the same thing they have four different ones so you don't know which one you're gonna get you have to try to get them all and collect all of them so he's taught me how to kind of look at the you know different pictures and feel around and kind of get the feeling it's right here to see which one you may have when you want to get a certain one. So I did try to fill around and make sure I got him two different ones. They do kind of feel different. Where's that other one? So I, I do believe I have, um, I do believe I got uh, this one and this one because I feel a really super long tail. Um, but I'm not really sure it could be that one because that's a long neck. I think, I think it's this one and this one, though. But, anywho, um, he's going to love that. So, that's super, super cool. Um, and so, that'll be two different, you know, fossils in there for him. And then some different slime that he can play with. He loves slime. He likes the way it feels. He likes to stretch it. So, those are all common things and sensory orientated things. All these items right here. And I got them all at Dollar Tree for less than 20 bucks so far. Um, I'm not even, I don't even think I'm at $15, guys. I'm at about $17, $16 for you right now on some change. Like, literally. So, that's a really great deal. Um, and this is an Easter basket that's going to 
go so far for him and work for him so well. You know, what sense do it make to go and spend ten dollars on a, a a, a little shovel and here and there and then you know it's barely anything in there when you can just go and take that same money get a basket or a bag you know at Dollar Tree they had beautiful baskets this year I had some of those in my um down in my video collection as well uh if you guys want to check any of those I'll just kind of see if you if you're new to the channel what I kind of do here um for you guys I didn't even notice this had the cute little face look at that <laughs> the eyes and the teeth um didn't even know this that but yeah um so you guys kind of get an idea of the shopping halls and different things that i do on here um so yeah again yep take that same money and you can get some that that your kid is really gonna love that's geared towards your kid um and still throw in some candy as you guys seen um um i took a lot of the candy out he's went through a lot of it but i did get a lot of brand name stuff from dollar tree as well the peep folly pops um you know dipping dots is uh huge ice cream brand and candy uh he got the dipping dots birthday cake uh, popcorn he loves this so um they had that at dollar tree which was great uh, some other items, some s'mores. He likes s'mores, so that's a s'mores bunny. Just a couple, a lot of different things. He got his eggs, bubblegum eggs. He's got bunnies. He's got so much crap, like you guys wouldn't even believe. Um, I mean, I have tons and tons of stuff like I had in other. I put in eggs for him, but like I got so much crap um, still left over. He'll be trying to do different things to earn it over the next couple of weeks because um, I won't let him have it right now. Um, after this stuff right here, he'll, he's definitely going to have to earn anything after that. Because um, I'm not into just sweet, sweet, sweet. Sorry. Alright, guys. Alright, we're going on 40 minutes here. I'm going to hurry up and close this out. Um, and then the last one, it was the Dollar Tree item too. It was the last one. They had some regular ones. And this was the last one like that. And I'm so glad that I saw it. I just happened to turn around when I was in line and on their little, you know, display there, they had a couple of regular fidgets and this one was the only one left like this. And I was so excited because the other ones were just those regular ones with the little round part. Um, I've never seen one like this kind of it's like a, a spider legs. And so they stretch out and bend up and twirl around and then it still spins. So this is going to be super, super cool. He's going to love this. Again, this is small enough for him to take the spool and put around with and have something to kind of doodle with when he's having a um, rough time at school as well. Um, and that's another thing, you know, resources that they have at school for the children. Um, like I said, there's any of my moms out of my 500 subscribers that uh, does have children with special needs that they do have children that deal with uh, um, any types of autism, um, you know, ADHD, ADD, uh, Tourette's, anything like that. Um, I can definitely relate. Um, I do a lot of training. I go through a lot of trainings. I've done a lot of them. My child is in a lot of different therapies. Um, I do have a lot of resources. Um, <clears throat> I may not be in your state, but the resources that I have and can explain to you, you definitely, it wouldn't be hard to navigate and find them within your state um, because there are a lot of resources for our children. And, you know, a lot of parents don't know about them. You know, I am a beautician uh, as well. So I talk to a lot of my customers. I make most of the time in their chair, in my chair about their lives. Um, but after a while, they want to start trying to pick you. And so I let a few things out here and there. And, you know, sometimes, you know, some of the things that I talk to them about, a lot of them can relate and hadn't even known about a lot of the resources I have for my kid, you know, um, and how it's helped me because they didn't know it was out there. So it's always good to be able to share um, information and, you know, um, help each other out. Yeah. So like I said, if I have any of those moms out there who enjoyed this and, uh, would like to discuss, uh, some of these subjects more, please comment below, um, hit the thumbs up button. Um, and yeah, let me know, please like, share, and subscribe. If you like this video, if you're new, uh, we do have a couple more Easter videos. I'm going to bring you, um, uh, f uh, with my decorating, um, uh, <clears throat> from Easter, um, and yeah, we'll see you again soon, Gems. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye.